right you guys so today we are making um, doing a chip bag design and I'm going to show you how I design my chip bags but first I want to tell you where I get my um, clip art and the digital paper and everything from I get it from Etsy hence the reason why we're here just type in what you're looking for in the search bar and that'll give you those character images that we have on the um, on the bags so I'm going to do Ninja Turtles today so here are some Ninja Turtle designs um, if we get digital paper get that to pop up okay we do digital paper here are some digital paper designs here's the one that I got um, I, spl I splurged a little bit and spent two bucks on some digital paper um, but Normally, I don't spend that much on digital paper. I spend maybe a dollar at the most and call it a day. As for the dimensions, y'all, I Googled that. Like, Google is your friend, Pinterest, those type of things. People put that stuff on there so you can know how to do it um, yourself and hopefully save a, a few few bucks doing it. Um, but here's, oh, this is a Hershey bar wrapper, but you can find the dimensions on Google I'm sure because that's where I found found mine mine at so okay enough of that let's go over here and do the design of the chip bag I use silhouette software um, silhouette is my friend sorry y'all I'm just gonna undo this bag here let's move that so you'll get me get to see me deconstruct it <laughs> how about that all right, let's take, you know what? I'm going to take all my images off and we'll start from the beginning. Do that, do that. All right, so let's move all this stuff out of the way. All righty. So first thing you'll start with are uh, some rectangles. For the side, the middle, uh, well, the sides, the front, and um, of your bag. The sides will actually be your um, the back portion of the bag. So when you fold it, that those sides will go in the back, of course. All right, so here's my, my rectangle. I need to size it to um, what I like to work with. So for width... I do 2.6 and this is for the sides okay so 2.6 on the side and 6.5 for the height and that is in inches so we're working in inches today 2.6 wide six and a half inches tall all right so I'm gonna make a copy of this one because of course we have two side portions that'll be in the back and I'm going to also make one more copy so we can resize it for the front, okay? So with this front portion, I am going to make that about five and a half, uh-oh, not on height. Let's undo that. I'm going to keep the height at six, six and a half inches, but the width is going to be five and a half because we want the front to stand out a little bit more. So all I'm going to do is just align these a little bit. Um, I'm not going to make sure that they're perfect because we got to add our digital paper and um, which is our background. The digital paper is the background and then add our images and things like that to it. Okay, so let me go find my paper here in my little list. And I want to use, let's do the side. I'll use this turtle shell pattern for the sides, which will be the back. All right, and then the front, I want to put the cityscape, and I'm actually going to copy this because I want to overlay that with something, right? So let's adjust the height only, not the width, just the height. All right, and I'm going to put this gradient there. Oops, there we go. Just align that a little bit. So now you can see. So this portion and this portion is the back of the bag. And this portion here will be the front. So now I want to 
make sure this little center section is aligned the right way because I don't want it to be off and mess up my height or be too short and you see the cityscape underneath or whatever so I'm going to align that to the bottom and center it and I'm going to group this together so that way when I move this around both of those pieces move at one point um, move together all right so now I am going to go ahead and apply my characters so master splinter is so cool he knows all okay you see he went behind the digital paper so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to highlight all of these and I'm going to send those to the back that way the paper will be behind my images so now I can put master splinter here I'll take my barcode Y'all, you can Google custom barcodes or whatever and make your own barcode. And I'm going to put my logo there and grab my group of turtles. Put them there. Let's get the name. Throw that down there. And this here. All right, so my nutritional facts, just keep it simple. You can make something that's custom to you, but I just keep it simple. Put my little turtle shell there. All right. I like the fact that my turtles, my, my character image is overlaying the name. That works for me. If not, you can move it up. You can resize your turtles to be a little bit smaller if you want. It's entirely up to you. That's the joy of making things yourself. You can do what you want to do. All right, so let me go ahead and align all this stuff so it's centered and looks a little bit better. So we'll take that and group that together. We'll align the center section together and group it together. Align this right back section center it and group it together all right now I'm gonna move my boxes a little bit so they're a little bit closer take those I'm just gonna align those so that they're centered there we go all right or you can align them to the top or to the bottom whichever you want to do because it's all six and a half inches tall, right? All right. So I'll group all those. And I'm going to center it to my page. And there you have it. Now this entire sheet is the size of a piece of paper. Standard piece of paper, eight and a half by 11. Um, so when you go to print this, you'll have your image here and you'll have these white portions. If you don't like the white to be showing, you can either cut it off and just have your chip bag as it is with you know, your colored image here, or you can get creative and um, put something behind there. Me personally, I like a little bit of white showing, but everybody's not like that. So um, you can size that, that under box or to cover the white you can size that however you want it want it to be I'm going to send it to the back since it'll be behind everything um, and you can put it a solid color if you want um, you can go and get another digital paper and put it underneath if you want whatever you want to do make sure it's centered together um, and aligned perfectly so when you go to print it it's not looking kind of kind of wonky all right you still see some white up here but once it comes out you can just cut that off and then go ahead and assemble it and crimp this top edge and you'll have a cute decorative chip bag for whatever event that you want to want to have so hopefully this has answered your questions on how to design and size the bag. Um, also, I want to let you know, um, on the assembly video, there are 
um, in the not comments, but in the um, description of the video, there are links right there so that you can get the supplies um, and see the things that I use to assemble the chip bag. So like I said, hopefully everything, this has helped you guys with everything and I'll catch y'all next time.